What's up guys? Today we're going to go over how to make a daylight sensor pathway. What I mean by that is a pathway that only turns on in the nighttime and it remains off in the daytime. So this is the one that I have in my hardcore world. This is like the plaza area. As you can see, it's off during the daytime, but when it turns nighttime, it will turn on. So with that, let's jump right in. All right, so first things first, what we need to do is decide when the lamps are going to turn on. And this is because the way the daylight sensor works, it will be at max signal strength um, at max daytime. So right now it's like really close to noon. Um, so this is acting just as like a redstone torch. Whereas if we put it right in the middle of the nighttime, it'll be completely off. But if we do it somewhere in the middle, then the signal strength isn't maximum or minimum. Um, and this lets us decide when the lamps will actually end up turning on. Uh, because like, at, like this is getting more nighttime. As that happens, the signal strength goes down. So it was here, now it's just here. And then eventually this will go off too. So with the way we're gonna hook up the lamps, which is essentially just short answer, you do a torch here, you have your lamp up here, and then you have a, like some sort of redstone signal going into it. Um, this lets you select when the lamps actually turn on. So if you want them to turn on, essentially like right as nighttime starts coming, which is actually surprisingly uh, fast, like you don't even notice it um, coming on when it starts going down, you'll put the repeater all the way at the end. And this is because when we invert it with the torch there, um, the lamps will turn on the second this turns off, but this will turn off like the second the daylight sensor senses that it's turning nighttime. Or if we want it to be like completely dark uh, before the lamps turn on, we put it all the way at the end here. Um, so I usually do it somewhere in the middle. So like I do it like four or five blocks away. So somewhere right here. Uh, and this is just a good middle ground. So it turns on when it's like dusk, but it's not like so soon or so late that it just feels unnecessary. So I recommend four or five blocks, but do whatever you prefer. All right, so to demonstrate how to actually hook this up, I've made kind of like a fake pathway here. I made sure I added some corners and a diagonal and a T up there to make sure that um, anything that your pathway has in its actual shape. Um, I've demonstrated how to hook up, but how you actually hook it up will very much depend on the shape of your pathway. But the gist of it is essentially under this, um, we put torches and a torch when you have it directly under a lamp can power three lamps. So this gives you a little bit of space to work with. Um, so you don't need to do it say here because this isn't gonna do anything. So wherever we have the redstone from the daylight sensor, and I'm just gonna move this to make it a little bit easier. So we take this signal, right? So we have a repeater that is selecting when it'll actually turn on. We take this and we start hooking it up to these underground areas. So my first torch is right here. Uh, and then I'm actually gonna put a repeater directly into it. Then what I do is you put a redstone here and you can either do a repeater here, which will strong power this block, which then this dust will also be powered, or you do a redstone dust, it soft powers it, and then you put a repeater here um, to, to grab it. Um, I like doing repeaters into it first, but that's just up to you. But anyways, we do this, and then we have redstone dust, we do another repeater, and then we just do the same thing. And this is making use of the fact that um, the lamps are powered every three blocks, so we have the space to do this part right here. So then in the corners, we just do the same thing. Um, if you have a corner, make sure that you are able to do a repeater into, that's not right, into the block that the corner's in. And this allows you to grab it on the corner, um, just like this. Because if say you had a torch here, then powering this block, powering this corner or getting it to this part is a little awkward because you have to like, you have to make sure that this is a repeater, grab it this way and then do this. So I just always try to make sure that the torches are in the corners just to make it a little bit easier. But then over here we, uh, this is backwards. Then we just do the same thing. And then now we're coming up on the, diag the uh, diagonal part. Um, and the diagonal part is a little tedious, I will warn you. Um, because essentially what you have to do is you have to power each individual one of these. So the way you do that is you take this signal right here. Well, first of all, let's actually just put all the torches down. So yeah, diagonally you have to put all the torches like this. So on the diagonal, in order to turn them off, what we do is we hook this up the same way. So we have repeaters here, but we put a repeater going into every single one of these. 
Uh, I think there's a hair in front of my mouse. <laughs> okay. And then we just hook up the redstone all the way down here. Though you have to be careful because this signal is just like a normal redstone signal and it will lose strength. So if your diagonal is too long, which ours isn't to be fair, um, then it will lose strength. So like, let's say our diagonal kept going, we will lose strength here, right? So then what you need to do is at some point you need to put a repeater. Um, so what I usually do is to do this and then I kind of like strengthen it there. And that's why I made this diagonal part kind of like wide. So instead of making it um, like this wide or whatever, I made it extra wide to give me space to do this. Um, if it's relatively short, then you don't need the extra space, but it is, you know, it is useful. Um, but yeah, so just keep that in mind that the signal strength will run out, but then we have all of those turning off just like this. And then now that we're at the end here, then we just continue on what we were doing before. So we do this. And then again, try to make sure the redstone porch is in the corner. And then right here. All right, so that's one side of it. And just to test it, what we'll do is we'll simulate that's daytime. Um, simulate this daytime. So this should all turn off. And then at nighttime, they should all turn on again, right? Now you want to test this because it's easy to end up making an infinite loop. And what I mean by that is if you are on a corner, especially, um, what can end up happening is say you do this, um, let's just get rid of this because it'll be wrong. But say you have something like this where you have a repeater going into a block and then you have a redstone dust right next to it. What will happen is it will not turn on because this is just eternally turned on because it makes an infinite loop because this turns on this dust which then turns on the repeater which turns on the dust and it will just never turn off and then thus this will never turn on so always go and check um whether or not this works uh and i would recommend doing it every once in a while so you don't end up with like a huge issue super far down the line um, and have to debug it all the way down there but definitely check this uh and so now to hook up the rest of it what we do is we just do the same thing uh, and I'll just place all of these for now. So we just go over two. The diagonal is a little awkward because we have to do the same thing again, but it space is tough. But luckily this is all in the same line. So we can just hook up the redstone um, in the same way. So let's go hook up these. Let's do torches on all of them first. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, and then we do hook up the exact same way. So we just take this. Um, and something that's nice about this is that on straightaways, there is nothing in the middle of the pathway. Um, the diagonal is different, but if you have no diagonals, then the middle, if hooked up properly, will have nothing in it. So you could actually make like a small, like underground passageway here if you wanted to. Um, as long as you didn't have any diagonals. All right, yeah, so then this, this will be the same thing. Um, and what I did on my hardcore world is I actually did it sideways like this. Um, and I just hooked it up directly to each one, just like that. And then this is the same thing. So we do that. Um, this is still making infinite loop somewhere. Or no, it's not. Okay, yeah, be careful of this. <laughs> I was really confused. Yeah, be careful of this. This ran out of signal strength here. So I usually just do a little signal strengthen right before it. Okay. Yeah, so that should all be good. And then over here, we'll finish the job. So that goes into the corner. And then this will go one more. So now in order to do this side of the lamps, because we have everything on right here and down hooked up, in order to get it over here, uh, well, I usually do is I just take a redstone signal from somewhere one of the like dusts um, And we can place the torches first actually um, I think the easiest way to do it is you take a repeater here we then take a Dust here and you have to be very careful. This is when the infinite loops come into play um, if this dust or like what was powering this repeater is um, over here, so like if it was hooked up like this for like Say you had another lamp here and you're trying to do it um that will make an infinite loop so you have to be really careful here that this all shuts off when it needs to um but what you do is you do that and then what i do is i just change the direction of some of these so like this is our source the ones on the right will go the same direction as these but then these ones will then go to the left now 
um, and then you just keep doing the same thing. Um, and these ones will also be to the left, so it's not like any different than it would have been. Uh, but you just have to choose a block to essentially like be your source on this side. And I usually just find one that is close to the dust like this. Like we could have chosen this one um, and gone with this block and then made it go that way. But that is how you do that. Um, if you're trying to make it where the middle is completely like open, so like you don't have, whoops, you don't have this redstone here, then what you can do is go underground uh, using redstone torches, um, or you could just honestly use another light uh, daylight sensor. Um, the only issue with the daylight sensor is it has to be touching the surface, like it has to have direct uh, access to sunlight, which is why I usually just go underground like this. But then we can go test it to make sure everything's good. So right now it's daytime, everything's off, so that's good. You turn it to nighttime, everything turns on, and then importantly, everything needs to turn off again. So there we go. So the way you wire this up will very much depend on the shape of your pathway, but this is the general way to hook it up. Um, and you, you might need to improvise a little bit because if your corners are like different lengths, for example, or if you have like three wide instead of two wide, um, some of the numbers, like some of the distances might not work out perfectly. Um, but, you know, just improvise. Like if you need to do like one that's right next to each other, so like a torch and then one block and then a torch, you can do that and then just use a repeater he uh, here and that would be perfectly fine. Um, but you can go two blocks if you have the space. So yeah, that's basically it. Now, before we end the video, I just wanted to go over what I usually do for little vertical lamp posts. Um, now they're nothing flashy, but they are um, on the same network as the daylight sensor. So it'll turn off and on with the rest of the network. Um, so if you're okay with it being looking like this, then this is just what I do. It's pretty simple. So you just have a torch um, that's hooked up to the network somewhere. You go down one block for the redstone. You put the torch on the same level as the rest of the like redstone and repeaters. You then do a block. You do another torch. You then you do a more decorative block um, or do whatever block you want as long as it's not transparent. And then you do another torch and then you do the lamp. Um, and then you can do multiple of these. So that you can have like, usually what I do is I do like three blocks across and I do another one here, for example, um, so that I have a little like doorway or whatever. But this is just something simple that you can do that is still on the same daylight sensor network. All right, guys, that'll be it for this episode. Let me know down in the comments if you do anything really cool with this or have any other ideas, because I would love to hear them. Um, if you have any other issues or suggestions, also leave them down in the comments, because I will try to help you debug or, you know, whatever we need to do there. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.